Minus the temperatures, of course, that scene behind Midi, I think, is what a lot of people were hoping for Christmas morning. Bad news on the East Coast. We don't get that, but we do eventually get those bad temperatures that follow this Arctic cold front. This is the current snow depth in the Northeast. Last week, we got that first healthy round of snow. Also, you had live pictures there, New York City and Boston. Two spots that are getting a lot of rain from this storm system. Snow arrived last week in earnest with that storm system, blanketed ski resorts in the Northeast. We could have used another one of those, and this one is not that. The area of low pressure cuts up into Canada and brings with it warm air all the way up to the border with Canada. We'll have this stripe of melting snow that'll add to the flash flooding risk, and then all that yellow, that's two to three inches of rain that we're expecting all the way up into Quebec in some areas, at least for a period of time before the cold air arrives. So here's what it looks like with future track moving through the day tomorrow. That rain moves in over the course of the day. This is 4 p.m. You see through the mid-Atlantic, southern parts of the northeast, heavy rain at times. On the far northern periphery, across northern New York, northern parts of New England, starts as a little bit of snow. But watch that area of low pressure just tug all that warm air farther off to the north. And because of that, during the overnight hours, which you would expect cooling, we're actually warming up. And there's a changeover to rain all the way up through northern New England. Then the Arctic front arrives. That'll be sometime around lunchtime on Friday. Cold air crashes in. Most of the moisture is gone, though. So it only wraps up as a little bit of light snow showers, the exception that almost unlimited for now moisture source, which is Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. We'll see enhanced amounts areas east of those lakes. But then we had that flash freeze concern as these areas that get a number of inches of rain and that snow melt, the temperatures drop so fast that everything now all of a sudden turns on into ice. And that's gonna lead to very dangerous travel conditions for those areas. Got a high wind warning for many of these spots. Vermont, the Adirondacks, Eastern Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Cape Cod, the islands. Wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour possible. That could lead to some power outages. All this as the cold is crashing in. And for a period with that onshore wind, that's where the flooding concerns at the coast come in. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.